Hi again, and welcome back to the Top Solid Modeling tutorial. This is step 10. Now in step 10, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Instead of creating new geometry, we're going to learn how to create a plane. You know, it's not always direct and simple to model, is it? Sometimes you have to be very creative, and the ability to quickly create a new plane is paramount in the world of solid modeling. So in this tutorial, we're going to introduce you to the creation of a plane by point and normal. We'll go over all the steps to get there, how to use, and then how to apply this function. Okay, in step 10, we're actually just going to create a sketch to use as construction geometry. In this case, you can see that I have a line drawn here. This line is going to help us create a plane by point and normal. In some cases, you don't always have the luxury of just selecting an existing plane or planar face to create your sketch on to design the feature that you're looking to design. So it's important that you understand different ways of creating planes or frames within the top solid solution. So in this case, we're going to show you how to create a custom plane. Let's see how it works. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to select this face, right click on it, and create a sketch. I'm going to go ahead and look at the top view of that, and I'm going to activate the line command. I'm going to go ahead and switch on construction mode because I just want this to help me draw. I'm going to create my line there. Next, I'm going to turn off the construction mode and I'm going to start right there maybe. I'm not going to pick that yellow point because that means I'll snap right to the middle. And now notice as I rotate my cursor around, you see how a little box shows up here at the center point where I just started? That box, if I click right now, tells me that this line is perpendicular to my construction line. Think about how cool that is. Nice and convenient. From here, let's go ahead and add a few dimensions. I'm going to add a dimension from there to there. I believe 937 and a half is the size we're looking for. Dimensioning this is really irrelevant, but to those who like to have things fully defined, go ahead and throw a one inch dimension on there. After that, go ahead and validate the sketch and you're done with the construction geometry. Now it's time to create the plane. So we're going to go to the tools tab and we're going to go to plane by point and normal. Just so you know, you can also access it from the plane pull down menu right here, plane by point and normal. From here, the software is asking us to pick the origin point. This is where the plane is going to sit. So I'm going to zoom up over here and I'm going to pick that point. Next, it wants the normal. So I'm going to choose the sketch line that helps me to find the normal. Finally, just to point something out here, you see there's a size option. If I modify this, you can see that it's going to change the overall size of the plane. This is just a simple visualization option. I'm going to validate. Like that, I have now created the plane that I need to use in the next step of this tutorial. 